First, we want to send our condolences out to Bro. Uh, Kobe Bryant and his family. Uh, and the rest of the members on that flight, man. Yeah, the, the rest of the people that was on that uh, helicopter. Uh, when we found out, and that's actually one of the questions. Uh, when we found out, it was I was at work, and uh, I was hurt. I called called Dub. Cause I, I wasn't sure if it was real or not. And once I chopped it up with him, it was, it, by that time the news had already circulated. There was multiple out, news outlets talking about it. But that was just, just that whole situation was tragic. You know what I'm saying? So once again, we send our thoughts and prayers and condolences to all the family members that were affected, the friends, uh, you know, family and friends, close friends that were affected by this, and, and we we lost a legend. We lost a legend in the game, and and you know, he lost his child in the process. They lost loved ones in the process, and it's 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 just hard. So we just you know, we want to say this to say that you guys gotta you know live every day like it's your last. I know you guys hear that all the time, but you do. Any anybody can go, no matter your status, no matter how much money you have, where you're from, what your profession is. At any moment, you could be gone. So you want to make sure that you don't hold any grudges towards anybody. You try to live a, uh, a happy, fulfilled life. Go out there, do what you got to do. Don't waste your time because just this situation, obviously. No one's promised tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, man, man. Um, <clears throat> I had just got a text message about it um, a little bit before the calls and everything started coming in. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was like, ah, when I seen the text message, I just looked at it and I was just staring at it. And um, I was having a cool little Sunday too, because mm -hmm. I was just chilling. And it was funny because I was just saying like, man, this is a cool little Sunday. Like I was actually just relaxing in that, you know, relaxed state. And I just got a text message and I just looked at my phone and I was just staring at it. I was just like, nah, nah. So, but um, again, man, just like what Ross was saying, let me just reiterate, man. The only thing I gotta say is, bro, just keep God first. Mm -hmm. uh, God is always in control. Uh, and, you know, he put people in our lives for us to idol and everything and take them from us to show us that he's the one that we need to stay focused on. And, um, you know, Kobe lived his life. Mm -hmm. He had a, a very, um, may seem short, but he made use of his time while he was here, mm -hmm. um, which is very important because he was 41, but he'd been putting the work in since he was, what, three years old? Mm -hmm. He started playing, you know, trying to hoop and stuff like that to when he got drafted into the league at 17, going straight out of high school. So. Kobe lived his life, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, um, rest in peace to him, his beautiful daughter, and mm -hmm. the rest of the members on the uh, helicopter that day. And um, just to let you know that, you know, we gotta keep God first, and we gotta live our life to the fullest, and yeah. doing it the right way, you feel me? But, um, yeah, so rest in peace um, to those people, and to them, Kobe, everybody, man. But um, our heart definitely goes out to the families, uh, and, you know, we want to keep praying. For sure. But let's change moods up to a brighter <laughs> mood. Uh, if you don't know already, we at 300K, man. 300K, we appreciate Could you, each. Look at you with your 300K looking self. We appreciate y'all so much, bro. Like I was telling them yesterday, it don't even seem like we at 300K. Like that's surreal. You know? The fact that I can remember a time when we first reached 10,000, you know what I'm saying? I can remember that like it was yesterday, and now we're at 300K on the road to 400K, and well, we trying to we trying to get to a million, man, and- A million, a million, a million. And with your guys' help and support, we're gonna get there, man. Yeah, yeah. I ain't got no doubt about it that we're gonna get there, so this is, this is a celebration, man. It's been a crazy week, but we gotta take time to celebrate and be thankful for 
what we've uh, achieved so far, you know, and um, it's a blessing because not every not everybody's able to get this amount of subs and this amount of time that we've been doing it. It's only been two and a half years. Yeah, it looks like about two and a half years since we've actually been going at it. So we thank and you so much. It's funny because we haven't even been like straight consistent. Like I feel like if we were just consistent, consistent. <laughs> Take a camera. Want to be? Yeah. Probably like seven, eight by now. Yep. But a lot of stuff been happening through the years and stuff like that, as y'all know. Um, we've been taking breaks and you know, now we're gonna really hit it consistently. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> but, uh, we're gonna hit it consistently now. So we on it now. What we got? All right. First question. Since we were just talking about Kobe. I put the new apologies on my feet. <laughs> He's stupid. Were you ever a fan of Kobe Bryant? No. I respect the Kobe. Yeah. I, I hate to play against him. Mm-hmm. He got on my nerves because you know, as you know for the Rockets, before the whole James Harden era and all that, mm -hmm. we used to be um pretty unplayoff bound, if that yeah. makes sense. Um we wasn't getting to the playoffs that much, and when we did get it, we would always get knocked out the first round. Because we was the eighth seed, and the Lakers was usually the one or two seed. Um, we would have to play them. Mm -hmm. Kobe would do his thing, knock it out. So, but no, nah, um, I respected his game. Yeah. I felt like he was a pretty dominant player. I felt like he was the last of the attackers, um, you know, of the era. And um, yeah, but I was a fan of his, I respected his mentality, excuse me. Italian and all that, so. I wasn't the biggest fan, but I respected him. Like Doug was saying, like it was, it was a love hate thing. Yeah. Cause it was, it was like, like you were saying, Kobe would be the guy to send us home. <laughs> and it, when anytime we had a chance to make it to the playoffs, he was there to say, Nah, bro. Bye bye. The couch is over there. What are you doing? What, what, what are you guys doing? I'm like, oh. So it was one of those type of things. So, but like the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we, we we definitely respected him and all that he brought to the games. If you ain't was in the classroom, had the paper ball, and you ain't hit the Kobe. You know what I'm saying? To throw the uh, the paper away, then you really wasn't watching basketball, bro. I don't know what you was watching. Like that was everybody was Kobe, Kobe every time, man. So, all right, let's see. <laughs> Someone asked, shout out to Wakanda Forever, that's his name on YouTube. Can I be in your video? Uh, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> no offense, we, you don't have a profile. I mean, your profile picture is a, it's racing cars, so I don't. Probably I, not. Yeah, man, sorry. Probably we actually, not. we probably will at one point do a meet and greet. Probably. We probably will do a meet and greet at some point. We'll do a meet and greet, but. But yeah, being in the not. video. Cause then you'd have to come to his place and uh probably not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Uh Miguel asks, will y'all ever upload daily? That would be dope. Prayer emoji hands. Oh, keep praying. Nah, we probably will. Oh yeah, that's that's the goal. Cause ultimately Yeah, y'all want us to upload daily? So do y'all. Comment down below. We just might. All right. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. I'm sorry. That's shake it. It's Chick Fil A, bro. You can't go wrong with that. All right, man. This one's about me. <laughs> do you think Ross? I guess it's towards you. But do you think Ross looks like Will I Am? Looks like Will I Am. Oh damn, bro. Looks like. Coach Tomlin. I don't know, bro. Mm -hmm. That's it. What I am. Yeah, the James Harden is type. I still don't see that. Mm -hmm. I don't see not the James Harden. I see the, the what I am. I finally conceded to that. To the Coach Tomlin. I can see it. But the James Harden, I still don't see it, bro. I just don't. I'm not that dumb. The what? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, uh. What was the rapper's slash song that made you fall in love with rap? If you can remember. Um. 
what just made you like okay, rap is where it's at. Good question, bro. I mean, cause you gotta think. Like, I mean, you gotta think like the Bara era, the Nelly era, Ludacris. Like us growing up, what we was listening to. I think what made me like, like Ludacris a lot. What got me into rap? What's the rhymes too? It was out of like Buster Rhymes, Biggie. Cause when we was kids, that was all that was being played on the radio. Bus around Biggie, uh, P Diddy, Tupac. These are the artists that ultimately got us in the rap. Like I remember that uh, California. No, it's out of. I remember just like, man, what is this? This, no, this I'm, is, this is nice. Dr. Dre, you know what I'm saying? Probably, like, um, probably zero. That's what got you in the rap. Houston artist, probably um, most likely a Houston artist. Cause remember when they used to slow everything down and you know, scream and chop it. So I'm sure it was a Houston artist first, and then you know, it was some ludicrous and stuff. Okay. Uh, I remember my brother-in-law had that chicken and beer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, what is this? Goodness. <laughs> My cousin had the CD. What was going on? What was going on? The CD tape cassette era, man. Yeah, man. That's, that's... Yeah, man, it's crazy. They what know. What was going on? Nothing about that. <laughs> what were some shows you loved watching growing up? From Part 2 Network, Nickelodeon, Disney Channel. Damn. Uh, that's the first question. ZK. Um, Z, JK, God. Well, if we're gonna go Disney Channel, uh, Kim Possible, uh, used to love some Kim Possible though. Uh, Proud Family, uh, what else? Uh, what's that movie? Oh no! Uh, what's that? They used to have some pretty good movies on the Disney Channel. Brink, boys, well, you know about Brink, man. That's the movie that made me want to skate, and then when I tried to skate, it didn't really work out too well. Smart House. Smart House was dope. That was that was my like my fantasy of a future house, like the house talking to you. It's not like that now. It's it's kind of different, but Smart House was pretty cool. Uh, Pat Fly. Pat Star going crazy on the nigga. Oh, what's that that movie that they were in space? It was. Sing on, sing on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to like that. And uh, the one with Shia LaBeouf. What was that show with Shia LaBeouf? Even Steven? Even Steven. That's yeah, Steven. Steven. Steven and uh, the Lizzie McGuire show. Used to rock with those. For Disney, Cartoon Network, all of it. Come on, bro. It's Cartoon mm -hmm. Network, bro. It's like. Hey, hey, hey. Curtis yep. Collie Dogs. Yep. Johnny Bravo. Yep. Um, what, Two Stupid Dogs? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tsunami. Tsunami, it's everything on Tsunami was the best. My boy Tom, that was his name, the little robot mm -hmm. that operated the spaceships. Bruh, at three o'clock. Oh, um. Got the wing. Oh my god. Rocket Power. Rocket Power, that's what Nickelodeon. Mm -hmm. Nickelodeon. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to like Legends of the Hidden Temple because they used to show game shows during the day. So Legends of the Hidden Temple, Double Dare. I don't uh, like how you kind of diss my Rocket Power. What? That was a Nickelodeon. Yeah, yeah, I'm going in order, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just throwing them out there. Um, uh, of course, Doug, Rugrats. Didn't they have like the teen Rugrats when they grew up? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rugrats movie. I think by then I was like in middle school or high school. I think it was like, was it middle school? Oh, of course, SpongeBob. That's that's the mecca of the mecca of the mecca of the mecca. It's SpongeBob, bro. You can't. Can't go wrong with sweet, sweet, big three. Can't go wrong with that, bro. Can't go. <laughs> so, I mean, pretty much most of the shows, it was a handful of shows, maybe that boys didn't really watch on all these networks, but for the most part, you can literally, if you like, was out of school for a day, you could literally sit there oh, you and, and watch TV on these three channels alone and be fine. 
I don't know how it is nowadays, but back in the day, school, school, I'm about to sit here and watch my favorite shows. Hey, I used to get out of school, mm -hmm. in high school, my senior, I used to get out, I used to do half of that. Mm -hmm. I would always catch um, Orange Coast choppers. Mm -hmm. Um, where they used to build the motorcycles. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Damn, yeah, I forgot man, about so. that. I for, wasn't it on Discovery? Yeah, something like that. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I forgot all about that show. Hey, what you? Hey, I never would have known you watched that. Oh, all the time. That was I, always like when they used to get mad at each other and arguing. Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> the dad and the son. <laughs> Oh God, these niggas always arguing. Why they fix that bike though? No, they Maybe get their bike together though. That bike, every bike they were fixing. And I'm like, damn, bro, this, this is, this is pretty live. I don't really like bikes like that, but it's making me like it on the cool. Um, what has been your greatest accomplishment in your life so far? Hmm. Man, greatest accomplishment so far. Um. These 300 subscribers, nigga! There we go. Uh, for me, personally, the growth of this channel, man. Uh, when I say I never expected it to be at this level this quick, it's astonishing. So, this is this is something that I can, I'm can i very proud of, to be a part of. Ain't nothing you stupid. And the fact that, um, that we got people that Rock with us all around the world. All around them? Like, all around the world. Like, that's insane. So, yeah, I'm, this is probably at the top of my list of things I'm just very, very, very proud of and thankful to be a part of. Because it's not every day people just hit you up saying, hey, I love your videos. You guys make me feel good when I'm down. Keep doing what you're doing. Those messages mean the world to me, so. True. What my about family. you? My life for me, y'all. Who's your favorite Houston rapper? Hmm. Probably Zero. Zero? That was some thug. That was some thug. You know how to. Hmm. Will y'all decide to do gaming content this year, boys? What the gaming, man? Okay. I already tried to do it, but this nigga went and got an Xbox. You can still game, bro. <laughs> He's using that as an excuse. He's using it's, it. it's okay. <laughs> we was gonna both be playing the games at our crib online on the same system. Right. This guy went. I played this PlayStation in without telling anybody. I didn't know. I had problem. to tell somebody that my PlayStation broke, so I had to get a new console. I didn't know. I didn't know. We had plans. No, we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> the plans weren't set in stone. <laughs> hey, I don't know what to tell you. My no, PlayStation right, said. Just buy my PlayStation. What? All right. <laughs> what? Like it's just a, a throwaway. I just buy a new PlayStation, bro. <laughs> Got it. Don't listen, don't listen to this thing, bro. I got it. You the one that got it. Mr. Fashion Man over here. You the one that got it. You got all the, the expensive gadgets in here. You buy a PlayStation with two pair of shoes. Huh? Huh? Now nah, you choking. What? <laughs> <laughs> huh? What you talking about, bro? Stay here. Uh, someone said kids, and if so, can you introduce them? That's for you, bro. Whoa. <laughs> Go on my vlog channel, you'll see him. Oh, there you go. Um, what do you got for the Super Bowl? That's a question? Uh, I don't really care, but Chiefs. You think the Chiefs gonna win? You think the Chiefs gonna win? Hmm. He said, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with the 49ers, bro. I think the 49ers. We'll get the job done. A lot of people are saying in Kansas City. I think Kansas City's gonna win, but uh We know why. Why? Because it's Frank Rosenstein. You stupid. <laughs> I think we answered it last time. What? What made y'all start a YouTube channel? 
Yeah, we did. And those who are asking the infamous question, go check on the last uh, mukbang. Then you'll know. They're still asking that? Yeah, someone asked that on this one. What happened? I was like, yo, we did a mukbang about it. Check it out. This video was a while ago, but who's this track do you think won? Eminem or MGK? <sighs> this track? I think, um, I think Bar, I mean, yeah, Bar, Bars, and the video, MGK. Like, replay value, MGK. MGK, yeah. Because, to be honest, nobody goes back and listens to Kill Shot. It was just one and done. You um, wanted to see Eminem do what Eminem does, but right. when it comes to actual replay value, MGK had the better track. That's know. just like, um, Duffy and Story of Body Dog. Like, Drake Duppy freestyle is to me the better, better track. to listen to. Yeah, but of course, Adidon or Dobbs or whatever his name is. You know, the story of the world. Yeah. All he did is just drop some disrespectful shit. Yeah. Like, it still wasn't like no. Oh. It's not something that I would like jam. I would jam Duppy over that. Like, if I'm just riding around. So. The way that nigga was just grooming on Duffy, bro, like. So, you got any more questions? Do you? Uh, I may got one more, one more. What is the purpose for making YouTube videos? I guess he was asking what is what is our purpose for making YouTube videos? To be creative. Okay. To, our creativity is supposed to speak how we feel. Okay. Um, we just want to touch hearts, lives, motivate, and let people know some, you know, loving people out here, man. Everybody's not crazy in the world. True. Prior to what you know, unlike what they want you to believe in the media. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the world ain't crazy. Yeah. So, we just want to be here to show a positive light, show y'all our creativity, and show y'all the love. Because we love all y'all, even the haters. Mm -hmm. I say that from the heart. And keeping God first, too, to let y'all know that. Yep, couldn't have said it better myself, honestly, just to entertain and put joy to somebody's life. Like, at the end of the day, we ain't just out here doing it for the money. Yes, the money is cool, but when you start only doing it for that, then you start losing the, like, the genuineness on why you do things. Bars. The money will always come, but you have to have a passion for it. You have to have the drive for it. So when we make videos, half the videos we do get demonetized, but we don't care because we like to read the comments of y'all enjoying our content. If y'all enjoying it, then we doing a good job. That's why we make videos. And first appearance is the key. So yep. ultimately, <clears throat> what's deserved will be given. You feel me? So we speaking, man. In, we speaking. In, we just gotta grind, do our thing, and stay authentic. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> Authentic. Authentic. Uh, shout out if y'all know anything about that. Y'all been y'all been around for a minute if y'all know something about Her that. Her tongue got in the way. But nah, um, <laughs> y'all like that mukbang, ladies and gentlemen. Slytherin. But uh, <laughs> make sure you subscribe to the channel. You Follow you boys on Instagram. You already Run them lights up. And let's get this to 400k. Let's do it. So we can eat something else because I'm hungry. Yeah, we hungry, bro. We in the clutch, baby. Already. Know that we it. Uh, everything lit. Everything lit. The bitch better take a shot. She better not spit. The back will lit. The money we get. They doing the clown shit. But she know that we it. Ooh.